First tonight, a southeast Portland neighborhood fighting back against crime and livability issues like those zombie homes and RVs. The Brentwood Darlington neighborhood now has an action plan with the Portland Police Bureau. Our Lisa Balick following this story like she has been for months. Lisa, what's the update? Well, what they've learned here in this neighborhood is that they can really exercise their muscle when they have a lot of squeaky wheels that are very loud and gets the city's attention. Don't even try to pretend that we're some, you know, rogue police force because we're not. But what Grant Williams says he and other neighbors in Brentwood, Darlington are doing is working closer with the police to learn how to more effectively get action. For example, they'll post a photo of a zombie RV on their watch group page, then get a lot of neighbors to call or email complaints about it. It gets put into the queue for removal, and if seven, eight, nine dozen people uh, call with a similar concern, that indicates a higher priority uh, to whoever happens to be running that particular department. And that's how we found um, stuff that used to take like two weeks to get handled gets whittled down to like a week or less. Getting more officers to patrol here is what some homeowners want, and that could be on the horizon. And I know that we have uh, multiple officers coming off probation, so as they fl fluctuate in, yes, we'll end up with more officers, but right now, we don't have that. So the police bureau is coming up with a new idea to cover this large area of southeast Portland in a different way. We did a couple of uh, ATV classes to certify more officers for ATVs, and we have 16 new uh, certified ATV officers. And so what we're doing is, as the budget allows, we're putting in overtime with these ATVs. We're calling them our walking beats. Police are also increasing their training of neighborhood groups to teach them how to monitor and report problems, like squatters in vacant homes. This part of Portland's been especially hard hit. Police statistics show a 44% increase in overall crime in this area last summer. That's when campers in the nearby Springwater Trail were moved out by police. Now, I'm here along a section of Southeast Henry Street. I talked to several of the neighbors here just a short time ago. They tell me they've gotten rid of zombie homes around here. They've gotten rid of zombie RVs. They say this whole idea of banding together and calling in and getting action, they say they're proof that it works. Live in Southeast Portland, Lisa Bailick, Coin 6 News. Thanks for the update, Lisa.